Hi there and welcome back. Today we'll look into effectiveness and efficiency, two significant terms when it comes to productivity. Effectiveness and efficiency. Both terms are adjectives that begin with the letter E and are used to describe how work is done. Not only that, they sound quite similar. These terms are anything but similar. In fact, they each carry completely different meanings. Effectiveness is all about doing the right things. It's result-oriented. It's when one's objectives are in line with their main goals and, indirectly, your purpose. It's finding ways to improve outcomes. For example, if your goal is to increase awareness and sales of a particular product to reach a particular target, you should engage in tasks or activities that will help move you closer to your goals. For example, marketing and ads and not waste your time on irrelevant tasks that don't serve your goals. This makes you effective. Efficiency is about doing things right. This aspect is task-oriented. It's using better ways to get something done well in the shortest amount of time possible while utilizing the least amount of resources and or costs. An example of efficiency would be using a computerized system to get things done accurately in a shorter span of time, as opposed to relying on manual methods to do the same thing, which will take more time and effort. Either one can exist without the other. One can be effective, but not particularly efficient, and vice versa. In fact, one can be either 1. Effective and efficient, 2. Effective and inefficient, 3. Ineffective and efficient, 4. Ineffective and inefficient. Optimal productivity is a combination of both efficiency and effectiveness. That would be our first example, effective and efficient. It is not possible to reach peak productivity levels if lacking in either efficiency or effectiveness, number 2, 3, and 4. If anything, they're setting themselves up for either mediocrity or inevitable failure. In terms of order of importance, effectiveness should be prioritized over efficiency in all of your considerations about productivity. Effectiveness involves the big picture. Putting effectiveness first just means that you should first and foremost focus on doing the right things in order to improve your chances of getting a good outcome. Once you get yourself on track and laid out the basics, you can then look into how you can improve the way you do things. The logic here is to concentrate on being efficient at the tasks which are significant and are effective in contributing to your goals. There's no point in particularly being efficient when the tasks you carry out don't contribute to your purpose or goals. To sum things up, efficiency is a modifier for effectiveness, not a substitute. Efficiency is meaningless on its own. So how does one increase their effectiveness? Clarify the what, focusing on the results you want to achieve and defining the picture of success. Clarify and pursue key strategies that will give you the highest possibility for success. After establishing your plan of action, you can focus on how to increase your efficiency. This would mean concentrating on the hows, implementation of your strategies in the most efficient way possible, and improving how you do things as you go along. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.